Hi guys, Sister Nadine. I am here again with another lesson for you. I just wanted to let you guys know that I love you and I'm praying for you and I hope that you enjoy our lesson today. It's called Set Apart. God wants to use you. And it's found in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verses 1 through 10. So you know what time it is. It's time to get our wigglies out. And we've got a couple of songs to help us do that today. And um, just remember that God wants you to sing your very best for him and to enjoy worshiping him and telling him how much you love him. Decide 
right, guys, I hope you enjoyed those songs and you got your wigglies out. Now we're going to have our prayer. And our prayer today has to do with asking God to help us know what to do and how to serve him by doing the things he wants us to do. So let's all bow our heads and close our eyes. And I want you to pray with me as we talk to our Heavenly Father. Dear God and Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for this opportunity to spend time learning about you, Father God. I pray, Father God, that you will use me today to do your will. Lord God, please help each child today to do big things for you, Lord. Help them to become obedient and just grow and learn and to become great witnesses for you. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for allowing me to teach this lesson. And I pray in Jesus' name, amen. Now we're going to learn a lesson. And, our, and the theme of our lesson is God has plans for us. And each of us, we're going to find out in our lesson today, God knows and has plans for. We just have to pay attention and listen to God when he is directing us. Our lesson is about a man named Jeremiah. And the, the title of our lesson is Set Apart. God wants to use you. All right. In the Bible, God came to a young man named Jeremiah, and he told him that he was going to be a prophet and that God was going to give him a special job telling the people words that God wanted them to hear. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest out forth of thy womb, I sanctified thee. I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Wow! God had a job for Jeremiah even before he was born. Wow! God wanted Jeremiah to tell people things and to represent him even before his mommy had given birth. He wanted him to tell people the things God wanted them to know. But you know, Jeremiah was kind of nervous about hearing these words from God. He wondered how he would be able to do anything special or important just because he was a kid. It's like, wow, God, you sure? I'm just a kid. But God said, then said I, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, say not I am a child, for thou shalt go out to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. God was promising Jeremiah that he would be with him, and he wasn't going to give him a job and leave him. He gave him courage, to say the things he wanted him to say. You know, when we read our Bibles and pray and pay attention, we can figure out what God wants us to do and how we might be able to serve him. You know, no matter what we're doing, if we're doing it for God and God is leading us to do it, then he is with us when we do those things. Now, Jeremiah tells us what God told him next. 
Then the Lord put his hand in my mouth and he touched my mouth. The Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See this day set over thee. I have set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out, to pull down, and to destroy, to throw down, to build, and to plant. Now Jeremiah went and did what God told him to do, and he talked to kings, and he let them know what God wanted them to do and how to rule their nation, and he became a great prophet of God. You know, sometimes, even when we're little, we don't always think that God can use us. But did you know God has plans for you, just like he did the prophet Jeremiah? You have a activity that you get to do related to the lesson. And parents, if you can print this out, and I want you guys to draw the best picture you can of yourselves. And this is to remind you that God has a special purpose for you. Even though maybe you don't know what it is yet, he knows, just like he knew before Jeremiah was born, that God was going to use him to be a prophet. Who knows how God's going to use you? Maybe you'll be a teacher or a doctor, or maybe you'll even be an astronaut or even the president. We don't know how God's going to use us. God just wants us to be obedient and do what he leads us to do. Now we have some activities. Now God has, like I said, he's picked out a job for you before you were even born. And he knows what you're going to look like and what's going to happen in your life before anyone knows even before your mommies and your daddies. And God understands you and everything about you. And God has created you to do something amazing. You just have to be willing to trust God and do what God wants you to do. Now we have an activity, moms and dads, if you can print out this. And this is to help you see how God made you special. You have a very special name. You have your own birthday, eye color, hair color, how your skin looks, how tall you are, if you wear glasses. And you are to celebrate that because God made you beautifully. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Now, our scripture today is found in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. And it says, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. And I want you to practice saying your memory verse. And I know this is a long memory verse. But I want you to try. And I want you to practice it. And see if you can do it without help. Because I want you to know that God made you and he knows what he has planned for you and if we are obedient we are going to be blessed and god's going to take care of us now moms and dads i have an activity for you to do with the kids today this is something that will allow you each of the children to Think about what they can do this week for God. And when they're doing something, maybe you can take a picture with your phone and then um, print it, cut it out, put it on this paper and write down what you were doing and how you did it to be pleasing to God. And put, put it somewhere so it reminds you of how you can be useful for God. I hope guys that you enjoyed the lesson. Um, I just want you to remember that each of you are special and you are unique and God has plans for you and 
I want you to know that I love you and am praying for you, and I hope that we can be together soon. Amen. I love you guys. Bye now.